Our guest today is Indian Forest Service Officer Jatindra Sharma, who has just retired from Kajiranga National Park as field director. But he is more known for his extensive research work on rare medicinal plants and mushrooms. He has been Member Secretary of Assam Medicinal Plants Board since 2018. Today we plan to speak about his successful stint as field director of Kajiranga National Park and also his research work in the field of medicinal plants and mushrooms. Welcome to Indian Mastermind, sir. Thank you. Now coming to your research work, you are also, I mean, you are renowned for your extensive research and books on rare medicinal plants and mushrooms. So uh, tell us briefly about your passion. I mean, it's, I would call it your passion. See, when I joined this, uh, we were serving in our Caribbean Law District, you know, this is a hilly district, and this, all these Caribbean people, I must salute these people because they're very well informed about these plants. You know, this Caribbean is one community who know each and every plant, right from, you know. Sorry, to, sir, uh, just one second, uh, viewers. I, we, uh, he's talking about this district called Caribbean Law. It's a hilly district and uh, full of greenery forest. So he was posted there and at, during that time, he was actually, you know, uh, he found, I mean, he found some very rare plants. He discovered them rather. So tell us, sir. Uh, yeah, I mean, I got posted here actually. Uh, I submitted a scheme of medicinal plants to the government of India. The Dr. B.S. Sazon was uh, one of the, you know, he was the CEO that I mean, he helped me uh, giving a project and, uh, you know, we raised some herbal gardens. Now they are all flourishing beautifully. And uh, that time, South by scientists, they came from, you know, abroad, you know, Japan and America. They visited my place and they, they asked me actually that why not you try documenting all the, I mean, information, whatever you have. In fact, I was doing for the department, you know, for the first time in the department, uh, I can show you that book, small book. So uh, this is one book actually for the, I'm additionally aromatic plants or so some special. Aromatic because, plants. Yeah, oh, awesome. yeah, that is really basically for the carving of whatever we have planted, uh, I mean, our herbal gardens, those were documented. And uh, there, this book contains about the, you know, the trident leaves of the plants as well as the botanical scientific name. You know, basically, I'm uh, not a botanist, but I try to capture all those botanical names, learning from my, you know, how research scholars and teachers, uh, whatever it be. Uh, and I try to pursue those and in the process. Uh, you know, I, I was posted in Upper Assam, so I think should be on all those, you know, those are dense forests. Then I used to carry my, you know, camera all the time. So what happened that time, I thought that, okay, I must document the things in a proper way. So that I produced the first reason mentioned plants and Muslims of India, which special refers to Assam. So that was containing some you know, information on thousand plants, you know. That time, uh, 1,000 plants. Then later on, the, the again the edition was revised, so it contains around 1,000 medicinal well, plants and mushrooms of India, right? Because so these are all specific to the notice? No, no, no. It's uh, India Baman because these are you know, the uh, plant species which you find elsewhere, but these have been done. But most of the species are confined to this northeastern stage. You know, very important stresses and in the process, I have tried to document all those plants, you know, almost 15 species new to science, which I have discovered. And also another 15 species, which are new to the flora of India. But uh, I, I could do, I think, 30 species, which are new to India, in fact. So that way, you know, if you see, I can show you a uh, plant, actually. Uh, yeah, like, but this is a plant, actually, like, you know, this is, uh, I can show you this plant. This plant is, you know, Foster's Pictus. See, it is not, uh, this is a plant from Central, uh, Central America, Southern America. This was brought to India. Uh, but no, this is a, called the commonly as insulin plant. But uh, I got this in Kerala and uh, I tried to uh, make it cultivated in Assam. Now it's flourishing. You know, it's an insulin plant. So that is one that is by effort to. But the thing is, the order, uh, I'll just, uh, for a minute, I'll just show you this. Yeah. Uh, this is a plant called Amomam Pratishthana. 
And this is named after my daughter. You know, this is a plant and I'm not home. It was for the first time that it was discovered. And uh, this is very interesting because my daughter, she's a daughter by, by, by Browson, now she's studying. Uh, uh, you know, she keeps on encouraging me for you now exploration of this plant. So that way, uh, this plant was named after her. Then, you know, I have named the plant after my wife also, one Jamun, the CCGM Navy. Then after my day, what father, sir? Can you repeat the names? You mean to say your daughter's name is Pratistan? Pratista. Yeah, Pratista. Pratista. This is Amomum, the gingerbread species. So, Amomum. which plant is that? Can you show us again? Named after her? Yeah, yeah. this is the Prat plant. Uh, what is it called? Amomum Pratistana. Amomum Pratistana. Pratista. So, this has been discovered by you in Assam. Yeah. This has been discovered by you in Assam. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah. This is in uh, which part of in which part of Assam, sir? Nafar Assam. This is Saraipung. This is the Big Boy Division. Okay. Uh, so this is the forest in that region. Forest on the Big this. Then another plant I will show you. You know, this is another plant. Uh, this is called Rashenia Cambodiana. Rashenia Cambodiana. This is, uh, you see, on all living Cambodia and uh, Korea. So show us the plant named after your wife once again. Oh, no, that wife plant is not here because I, I have not cultivated that because this is a Jamun tree, actually. Okay. This is a small, this is a Rio Fatic plant that is available in Caribbean along the western part of Caribbean along. So that way, I'll tell you, uh, this is Another, this is wet material. Okay. This is, you know, this we call in the so we just take a ride. Garshinia in the empty obesity. This is Garshinia Asamika. This is named after Ashram Asamika. So this was also discovered in 2014. Oh, this, probably. This, this, this is from near Maras Nation Park. Maras Nation. Near to the yeah, idea. Yeah. So, that way, we have some plants, you know, this is again another Garcinia, which is to be named Dino, which means it will be new to science. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, I'm here to name this, and I'll preserve those seeds also of this. Okay, this what, do you, what, are you, what do you plan to name it, sir? Any <laughs> names they have thought of? Not as it? I'm thinking about when Dr. John Wood is there from America. See, I have named a plant after Dr. Christian Pop, who is no more, actually expanded in 2013 after this has been my place in Shikia. So I have named one very beautiful ornamental plant. This is Paveta Pafi. So uh, his wife is still in touch with me. So I dedicated that plant in his name after his virtual actually from this world, you know. So that way, John Wood is a very elderly person now. He's around 82 years of age. So I thought that he who works on actually gingivus, matlab this other. So I thought that okay, I should name him because he has been by getting you know uh, my mentor like you know for almost 20 years now. So this way again you know some you know plants are in the fruits. No, these are preserving. This is side can you plant. Lift, can you lift him up? Can you leave that um, bottle up? Yes. Yeah. So what this is it, sir? This is coffee, right? This is found in, you know, Barabili, Kachar, Mizoram. You know, this at the very top of this, you know, was proved in both in know, London. It's very delicious, medicinally very important. All the other community people also there, you know, cultivate this. Nobody, you don't find this in the market, coffee line. These are the, you know, very special kind of things that you find. So in the process, what I do is that I had to do, besides my weight petals, I have around 350 species, uh, I mean, which are preserved, you know, you know it's like, you know, museum in my house. So I have to donate this, I have to give you some, uh, some material with shitpur, I mean, I mean, shalong, and then India, Albury, and the uh, shitpur, you know. That to have preserved, you know, I've done hardly and all this plant species also. No, these are yeah. plants. Okay, okay. Hardly, yeah. 
şey ya. Dol sıklığı ağrıya bir şey hiç. Erki bir ağabey ağabey bir de düşün. Once fresh is really bol bolu bolu bir şey ya. Which is to be in vain. And we have been in studies for last 12 years now. We have not been able to do them. We have done the DNA profiling also of this. You know, plan. That goes to. So that way I've been working and I am trying to document. And now also, uh, as you talk about by this book, Medicinal Plants and Muslims. And Muslims, I thought that in Assam, we don't have a book of its own. Exclusively about Muslims. But no, I'm not an expert. Muslims, I, I've taken help of some scientists from Jorhat, RFRI. Dr. Rajesh Saad is there, Rajesh Kumar, who has been helping me. And I hopefully... By the end of this year, we'll produce a book, and almost it is ready. It was ready, in fact, uh, two years back, but the thing is, I can do that in time, you know. So there are very final aspects here uh, to all of this medicinal plants, you know, because if you see, you know, these are all Garcinia species. This is a Garcinia species. In India, you find 34 species of Garcinia, which are edible, but in Assam alone, Our SMS people, we do not know much about this. We know about Kuzi Tekara, Bor Tekara, Rukui Tekara, and that type of thing. After that, we cannot say anything. But we have found 22 spaces altogether. 22? 22. 7 are of my discoveries. 7 are your discoveries. Yeah, 7 yeah, are my discoveries. And few are yet to be named. Like the one which I showed in the bottle. What have you named some of them? Can you tell us? Oh uh, no no no! I, I we cannot because we, we go by the I know uh, there is a sort scientific direction from the scientific thing. Well, that is Garcinia genesis. Okay, fine, but uh, we put we go by the locality's name also. Maybe I can. That will be my right privilege to put the uh, name of that plant to the author, then maybe to my you know department or to somebody who I just respect like that. Two books uh, on medicinal, medicinal on rare medicinal plants, uh, also discovered by you, are available on uh, you know all these uh, like sites like Amazon and all. I just seen them, and it's a huge collection. And uh, also, the price is also, I mean, quite high. Uh, <laughs> Do you have the books with you right now here with you? Can you show them? Yeah. So this, uh, whoever, yeah, viewers. This two is right. Yeah, this is this is a hardbound cover. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, one, yeah. So you the no uh paperback available so that uh, they, it can be priced maybe at the lower cost. I think yeah directly if they be in touch with our you know publisher they they will get. Yes. So, no so this is available on Amazon sites and uh, most of the sites. So you can you can buy them, and uh, yeah. yes. So, uh, all right. And after living, uh, you know, such an active life as a forest officer in the forest, I mean, most of the time you're posted in different areas and finally it culminated in Kajiraga National Park. So how do you plan to spend time now after retirement from service? Of course, you'll be following your passion of, uh, you know, plants and mushrooms, but any other thing you're planning to do other than writing books and on plants and mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, this uh, mushrooms that book will be over. And after that, I'm thinking, because, you know, right from my childhood, I I was always away from my family. You should know, my wife, she's also a common sense. She's a superintendent engineer. And, you know, our children, now the boys in Delhi, the girl is here, the is here. But the thing is, that I've not been with them for the last 25 years at a stretch. I have been living, I have been serving this uh, body land without the, <laughs> uh, you know, association with my family members. So, uh, that's why I lost my parents also, you know, right from my Sunday school days, I was away from them. Now, I feel that I should be in my house, but uh, the thing is, that, the important thing is that whatever I have done, I must put it to, you know, for the next generation. So for this, I need to, I need to, you know, digitize all my hardware, which are more than 1,500. 1,500. Whatever I've done over the years on medicinal plants, whether the IBMs are collected, whether the weight specimen are collected, those are related. And I have to visit that in order because that is it for the next generation to become the young guts, the plus low 
And we know we'll be, I think we know that many of your students from black universities and other universities, they come to me to you know the guidance in the research works. So I need to help them out and then maybe that they you know the back and also I need to help some helping and in certain cases and maybe uh, but talking about uh, the species, mostly uh, the endemic species, uh, any plan to preserve and, you know, uh, multiplicate them? Yeah, it's a very good question. In fact, you know, because in other years, whatever, whatever I have gone, I have tried to propagate certain plants, you know. Uh, if you see, uh, you know, one plant is called the upper diabetes pneumonia. We have them this as Gatherly. Well, that plant was discovered by me after nearly a century from Burdan area of Kinshika district. You know, that is, you know, can protection means uh, present that, that compound, that can protection is very useful for treating with ovarian cancer and colon cancer. And now, uh, some only two plants were recorded back in 1914, and which I got in 2012. You know, so those are. I've done the cultivation of all those plants and I have also encouraged by South foresters to collect the seeds and get the nurseries done and we're trying to propagate those over the last six, seven years. In fact, some private entrepreneurs also have helped the urban Bang area in the Pennsylvania district. They have grown as many as 52 plants. Now they're all grown up and they're also flowering and giving fruiting. You know, so that way, like, you know, Persian and Cambodian, which I showed you, they're, they're true large in three. So that is only 32 numbers of women in West Caribbean. You know. So that also, Nelson's have done and tried to propagate their, that is also very interesting ornamental plant. So that way, we're trying to focus on, in all those, the Garshini Asamika, Garshini Asibesiri, that is in the name of our father. Now, we're trying to propagate those. We are raising Nelson as in lower scale. So over the years, I've done it to myself about all you know, my own initiative as also the medicine plants both member secretary of the state. So where are these nurse nurseries? Where are these nurseries? So these nurseries are in you know Bashista, you know, or Senegal region. They have graced the under my guidance. There is you know in the your my Nagao region also we have got. Uh, they have uh, certain nurseries on medicine bus. They're in Gigbo, we have done some nurseries. And we have also propagated because you know, the government of India recently, last year, they have sanctioned some uh, bond for 26 resin, 26 nurseries for from, uh, around for resin 49 lakhs of saplings. And hopefully, the uh, addition is third this year itself for this medicine plants. So, in that also, we can include certain plants. That way. So, I so think it'll be very busy. Sir, even after uh, retirement now, you are, your hands are full. Uh, so long health permits. So long health permits. And no, yeah, I'm sure you're fit and everything will go fine and you will be indulging in your passion, which will keep you happy and happiness make one a fit person, mentally and physically also. So all the best, sir, for, uh, you know, um, giving us all this information. And uh, also, we really liked your enthusiasm in sh getting up and bringing those plants and showing them to us. And we wish you all the best in your journey forward. And it was really uh, very nice having you talking to us. Thank you. Thanks once again. So that was Mr. Jatindra Sharma telling us about his passion for forest. Hope you learned a few things about medicinal plants and mushrooms like we did. Stay tuned for more from Indian Mastermind. <laughs>